OMG BBG. What's up BBGs? We're back with another video, kind of like a BBG talks. Now, you probably already saw the news. It's been a few days, so hopefully you had time to digest. And now we get to discuss this big, big topic about... Go for it, Steven. Announce it. Beyblade X is going to be launching with Hasbro as well. <sighs> I'm saying this as if like I'm so surprised <laughs> and I'm so excited and happy to tell you guys. But I'm not sure if you guys are going to have the same reaction. <laughs> I just want to say from the get-go, I was always a doubter and it's not, it's not a good thing. Like I'm not saying it's a good thing and you know, I've been a Debbie Downer about it. When there was the rumors about Takara Tomy possibly not being with Hasbro on this Beyblade X release in the Western countries, I was like, there's no chance. There's no way. Like Hasbro is going to be part of it. And unfortunately I was right because we might be walking down the same path we did with Beyblade Burst which would be very scary and it would be very unfortunate, but there is hope as well, right? This is generation number four. And I think from all the marketing material we've seen from Takara Tomy, you know, this is supposed to be a new generation with new gameplay style, new sport-like uh, environment, right? So I guess a lot of us just uh, was, you know, happy to hear that they're changing things up and hopefully making it more standardized so it's only to Karatomi bays or only one type of bays around the whole world so you can't you know can't mess up you can't buy the wrong items and everybody who's competing will be competing at the same level right that's the most important thing in a sport like environment but hasbro is coming in now um could be a good thing too maybe they're going to improve who knows but from the past they, they were completely separate lines of items right they were they were still beyblades because they were officially branded as beyblades but you guys know from the previous generations even from metal fight and then burst and then the later phases of burst it just completely like pivoted exactly and so that kind of like segues into a part of the article that we want to talk about the this article or the news actually came out on action figure insider a few days ago it's been in our comments and you know, it's been talked about by other Baytubers, Twitter and everything like that. So let's go through it. The big thing that I wanted to highlight from this article is that the Beyblade X offers tops identical in weight, feel and performance across Hasbro and Takara Tomy. So before I finish that and sentence, is like that is a already yeah. a very big, I'm not gonna say it's a claim, but it's a big statement to their products. It is. And I feel like this is the first time they've used those type of languages outside of like pro series. Like pro series, they really emphasize that this is going to be similar or the same as the Japanese counterpart. So maybe they're going to be doing it like the pro series route, which honestly, I feel like is not bad. Like that is actually the go to. We know that the Karatomi don't have like all the resources to launch worldwide. So they do need a distributor and a partner. And Hasbro just happens to that be that person. And we need a company that supports Beyblade, which is Hasbro. So like, it's like a love-hate relationship. Yeah. You know, you know how it is. Like we've mentioned it many times before, like, and I've said it like a billion times throughout previous BBG talks that Hasbro products are vital for the success of the brand in the North American market anyways. Sure, maybe the products aren't as high quality and a lot of the enthusiasts and a lot of the, you know, more well-versed and I would say more experienced bladers don't like those products, but you have to think big picture and those younger audiences, right? The beginners, they really rely on those products to be on shelves in those toy stores provided by Hasbro. So even if you hate them, like Hasbro products, they need to be on shelves, right? We all pray that They're it's like gonna be the same quality. But we like yeah, we need yeah. them. It's like the we need them. Gateway drug yeah. of Beyblade. That's exactly it. And that like it's a shame that they became that way because they were like the cheaper North American way to buy the bays. But at the same time, it's like it might be a good thing. But if they're also changing the way that they're designing the bays and they're marketing it to launch the same way, then that's a good thing. But one thing I'm concerned about is it says the global launch in fall 2024. 
which means that they're gonna be a lot more behind in comparison to the Japanese market. So in that case, if we we're doing the gear sports and Beyblade is a sport mantra, then we should really have standardized release dates and standardized parts. That would have been like the best case scenario. Yeah. I'm so that's the one thing I'm like, ah, uh, that sucks. That's like kind of delayed or like kind of like separated in that's in the in the different regions. That's the thing, right? Like we've always had a bit of a delay on this side of the world when it came to Beyblade releases. That was already something that we saw in previous generations, right? Like, you know, Takara Tomi and the Japanese market was always ahead, being that it's like the source, right? It just makes sense. They're not going to wait around till we catch up. Because first of all, Takara Tomi and the Japanese brands, they love to cater to their local audience. And that's a good thing, you know, like, that's their biggest supporters, right? If it wasn't popular in Japan, it wouldn't make it to other parts of the world. So them catering to the Japanese market is, is a good thing for the brand overall. But yes, like the delays are always unfortunate. Like it sucks, right? Cause we have to wait so long to get the stuff that we want. And yeah, like you were saying, Steven, it sucks because like they're, they would have had like a billion tournaments already. The first season of Beyblade X pretty much would have completed already. Like the anime will be done, right? They might have had like a world tournament already for the first gen and then the north american yeah. market gets like the first drawn sword or something yeah so i'm curious to know what you bbgs think of this decision do you feel like it was all a sham like gear sports and beyblade x fourth gen being completely new experience yeah right or are they just following the same cookie cutter formula as all the previous releases but just saying that they're changed word because that's the thing right like how is hasbro now going to promote the whole gear sports thing too right they're trying to really push that beyblade is for all ages in japan and yo you know hasbro like they say that it's good and, and it's like you know fun for everyone right but a lot of their stuff is catered for the younger audience and you know that these are still going to be at toy stores right they need to be at I don't know, they need to be released in more locations, like more different types of stores, and they need to get yeah. that marketing right. So I think my expectation, though, for the North American market or just worldwide global release outside of Japan is that they're going to just do it like the pro series route. Mm -hmm. So they're still going to emulate whatever releases from Japan, but maybe they're now giving up on the other, the like the original releases. Yeah. Hey, but at the same time, they did say in the release that they have exclusive products and, too. Yep, that's exactly so, it. That's exactly what I wanted so to mention is next. is it going to be good? Yeah. Yep. Alongside those regular products, or like, you know, the typical stuff that we're going to see, they're also going to have Hasbro exclusive products too. And so that could be a really good thing, or that could be stuff like Slingshock and all of that that we didn't really Baby like Eels. too much, right? So I'm hoping that the exclusive yeah, yeah. products might be like their stadiums or something because Hasbro always kills it with the stadium. So if they release some super high tech stadium that everyone can enjoy with their Beyblade X products, that'd be lit. But yeah, I'm going to yeah. be devil's advocate once again. And Takara Tomy can get sales without stadiums because their main products are good, right? Like the bays themselves are mm -hmm. good. They don't have like cheap bays, but then good stadiums, right? And once again, when we're waiting for those good stadiums, we have to wait like six months in between each good one or something, right? Versus Takara Tomi, you're getting new bays or even multiple bays every single month. So with that said, yeah, yep. they, they can't just release good stadiums. They need to release good bays alongside the good stadiums. So I'm curious to know what you guys think after this article came out. I guess my predictions anyways for this is that we're going to get some really fire products from Hasbro from the get-go. I think it's going to start off really strong. Maybe the first year or two, we're going to have some really good bays with some possibly like slight changes. Just like how in Beyblade Burst, they changed it from like teeth to slopes, right? It did make like a bit of a difference, but nothing too crazy, right? I think we're going to go down that same route. And then we might hit a point where Beyblade X is so popular that we go on for six, seven seasons and Takara Tomi is like just not giving up on that brand and then Hasbro will not be able to keep up with the cost anymore and then we'll slowly see a decline in quality and then maybe focus on just those Hasbro exclusives. So that would be exactly like Burst yep. and I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's 
let's pivot away from the previous strategy. Let's do something new, hopefully. All right, so that's pretty much it for our BBG Talks today. Let us know what you guys think. Lots of interesting info and yeah, we'll see what uh, what the future holds for Babel X for Hasbro later 2024, right? Yeah, we got like a whole year to go until we see it in those North American markets. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So let us know down in the comment section what you think of this news. Hopefully you've had a chance to read about it already. Form your own opinions, leave them down in the comment section and we'll talk about it in the next BBG Talks. And as always, geeks out. Geeks out.